everyone, it's Bonnie here. Um, today I'd like to share with you some cards that I created. Um, I know I'm very, very late on, <laughs> on doing cards and they're going to be sent out late, but I hope the recipients um, still will love them. And um, the first one here is, is very Christmassy and the others are, they're kind of winter. Um, so they'll be good, you know, for the for the next month or two. So the first one I created using this beautiful paper by Graphic 45, and it's called the Nutcracker Suite. I had ordered this last year um, when it was on sale at the end of the year and haven't used it yet. And then I had ordered um, this chipboard, and it's the Nutcracker Suite tags number one. So I use that, and this is the card. Isn't it adorable? So this here, the um, title is out of the chipboard um, collection, as well as this clock here, and I think that's it. The rest of these I fussy cut out. I have the Nutcracker here that I fussy cut out. Isn't he beautiful? And then the old grandfather clock. And then the tree. And then this um, the beautiful girl that fell in love with the Nutcracker. And I fussy cut this out. Isn't that pretty? And then I fussy cut this N out. And it's all embellished so beautifully. There's like a little bell and, you know, um, a candy cane and just some flourishes. Isn't that beautiful? So N for Nutcracker. And then up here, I'll show you the dies that I used. Um, I can't tell you the name of them, you know, or who they're by, because I, th I just have them in my um, Christmas stash like this. And here's the other one. And these are really, really beautiful dies to use. I love them. So I used that and put that behind there. And then here is another die that I used. And that's this one here. It looks like this. It's like a doily die. That's like one of my most favorite dies. So I put that behind it. And then I just layered some papers. First this um, striped one. And then this one with the candy. And then this one, um, you know, it has like words on it. So that is my um, Graphic 45 Nutcracker one. I absolutely love how it came out. And this is going to a friend of mine who loves the Nutcracker. So I hope she loves it too. And then the next card is this one right here and like I said it's winter themed um, let me just move this out of the way and um, the image I printed off I had gotten from Pinterest I just love these um, vintage inspired images and look at her beautiful um, hood and it's got all the little you know it's like um, you know fur around it actually that could be like a shawl type of thing so I really loved it and it had the green in um, her coat so I, so I incorporated it um, you know in, in the embellishments so the paper is is uh, from peon but you can't see it it's all covered up I don't even know why I bother <laughs> so in the top I used this pretty ruffle lace trim there and then some bling I think that might be too bright okay and some bling here and the um, die cut here is this one by I'm, I'm sure of it is uh, Spellbinders one and you know I just cut her out in an oval and then just put pearls around here 
and these little pearls in here are um oh let me just get it I'm certain okay so it's called liquid pearls and it's the white opal so I thought it looked cute on the image like little snowflakes and then I put this um, resin piece there and that's an old piece from Recollections. That light is really bothering me. Okay, so I'm not sure if that's too bright. And then I have these trees here, which I um, put Distress Ink on the edges of them, and then use Diamond Dust, and then Glamour Dust on the ink itself. So I thought those came out really beautiful. And I don't know if I have that here to share with you or not. I tried to take out all of the um, things, but no, I don't have it. Oh, actually, I can see it. Nope, I lied. It's not here. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's here. I'm so... <laughs> all right, so it looks like this. And this is a Magnolia one. I know that. Okay, so, um, and in the back here, I put this beautiful piece of, um, it's an ivory color lace, like a cream color, so I uh, used white with cream throughout this, you know, to give it a, you know, just a different look, and this piece here, I cut out of um, a wedding dress, very beautiful, I've been doing that this week, um, and then up here, I have more pieces sticking out here from that same wedding dress. And there's a piece here. Here's a hand-dyed um, seam binding. And then I just put these little flowers here. And these are by Wild Orchid Crafts. And these are, I believe, Wild Orchid Crafts, but I'm not for sure certain. And then I um, created this beautiful flower using some of this cream lace. It looks like this. And then I used some eyelash trim. And then I put this pretty doily here that was gifted to me. And then this beautiful angel that was also gifted to me. And I think Tammy gave that to me. Um, I'm not for sure certain, but thank you whoever did give it to me. I absolutely love her. She was white, um, and I just put gesso over her and added some glamour dust to make her all sparkly. And I'm sorry, my light is really, really bright or either that or it's dark. <laughs> so I can't, I can't win here. So then I have these little pearl sprays sticking out here. See the little pearl sprays? I just love using those. I love them. And I think that's it on this card. I really enjoyed, um, you know, making this one. So that's that card. And then the next one here is very vintage. And, um... I absolutely love how this one came out as well. I love this image so much. And look at her um, her muff. And she's got that same, um, you know, beautiful vintage um, coat with the, um, the fur that goes around it. So beautiful. And here I use that same die cut which was the oval one here. So it looks like that. This is just paper still in there that I have to pop out. And then in front of that, but behind this picture, I took um, a doily and then just scrunched it up and put it all the way around it. And then I added these pearls all the way around that. And everything is distressed with um, vintage photo. Okay. 
So let's start at the top. These are all wild orchid craft flowers. And um, again, I used the vintage photo. And then I used gold. Oh, let me get it. I don't know if it's gold. Yes, it is gold. It's I use either goldenrod or gold stickles. I like the goldenrod better, but I've run out of that. So I use that on the tips of it and um then use some texture um handmade texture paint. And then I put these little um stamens here sticking out all over. There's some here and some here and then some here and then behind that is some pretty lace that I just you know bordered the flowers isn't that pretty and then over here I bordered it again with that same beautiful lace and then used that's my husband on the snowmobile and then I used this the doily guy which was this one here and I used two of them and what I did again was I used uh, the vintage photo on it and then added um, some of that gold stickles in this flourish die here that's a magnolia I think no you know what it's not it's a spell binders one and I don't have it on hand and then I have some flowers here by Wild Orchid Crafts. And again, I use the vintage photo on them to distress them. And then the gold stickles. And then added um, some of my handmade texture paint. So I thought that looked really, really beautiful there. Oh, and I stuck another piece of that lace in there. See how pretty? Very dimensional. And then down here I put a, um, a strip of this beautiful lace here that I had in my stash. And here's that a heart trim. And I added that too. And then I have this brown pom-pom trim. So pretty. And then underneath that I have another um, piece of lace that goes all the way across. And... Um, I think that's it for this card again I love how it came out so very vintage you know with the browns very beautiful and then my next card is this one right here and oh I just loved her um her shawl and she's got a little um, one of those muffs there but isn't she beautiful? And again, all of these images I got off of Pinterest. In this one, I just put tons of layers um, of different paper. And this is a big flower by Recollections. It was white, and I sprayed it with um, some of my Lindy's spray. And then here is... Um, like a plastic flower that I added some of my texture paint to as well as this I added texture paint to that all over so then this flower here was also white and I sprayed it with my Lindy's and this here this die cut here is by also by Magnolia and this snowflake back here is this die right here isn't that pretty I think this one might be Marianne designs I'm not sure so then I have another fabric flower here that I sprayed with my Lindy's and this is um, like a metal piece that hmm, it's this brand right here So I put that there. It was silver. I put, I uh, painted it with um, gesso and then used my fat, uh, oh my gosh, I can't even think, you guys, my texture paint. 
so it makes it very shabby. And here's another one of those doilies that I made. And here's a corner piece that I had in my stash. And again, I used my texture paint on that. And back here is also a die cut, and it goes all the way across. But of course, I covered it up. <laughs> so, okay. So here's another one of those die cuts um, by Magnolia. I really love that one. It's so cute. And here's another, like a corner die cut. And I don't have that one on hand either to show you. Okay, so moving on to this side, I have this big, beautiful fabric flower there. And this one's sticking out here. And again, these were white. And I sprayed them with my Lindy's. And then I got all these white stamens sticking out all over. And these beautiful pearl sprays that I just love using on my projects. And then behind that, you see the little snowflake die cut. That is... From this one okay and here is the um, the Christmas trees again that I used this one I um, edged it with a vintage photo I added some snowflakes from that die all over and then added some of my handmade texture paint so that's what that looks like. There's tons of layers again on this one. I love three-dimensional um, cards or anything actually. So that is that card. And then the last one, which for whatever reason is my most favorite. And it's um, all like black and white. And um, I use this beautiful paper. I think that's um, from Peon as well. And I put lots of layers in there. So there's, you know, the card itself, and then this layer, two layers here, two more layers of paper there, and then two more layers here. And again, this beautiful um, picture I found on Pinterest. Isn't it gorgeous? It's just, it's my favorite. And you see the little snowflakes and look at their little hats. I love it. So up here I have the, um, the snowflake die here. And then behind it is the doily die. And then over here I just have some um, flat back pearls. And you see how everything I used my um, texture paint all over. Here's a little piece of gauze. And here is that beautiful snowflake die. Um, that's this one here. I just love how cute those are. Um, and then I have one of those metal corner pieces which I showed you, it's these here. And again, it was silver. I gessoed it and then just used my um, my texture paint on it. So that's all got texture. And then I have all these fun pearl sprays. And then this here with the jingle bells on it, isn't that cute? So, and then I have just some um, beautiful fabric flowers here, all in white and then some of these stamens here. And I showed in another video where I got those stamens. It's from this bridal hat, and I just keep plucking them off of that. I'm almost done with it. <laughs> so, and then down here I have this beautiful um, sentiment. It says Merry Christmas, and that is by Kaiser Craft. And it's that one right there. And those are the other ones. Isn't this one cute with the reindeer? December 25th. Okay. So I used that and just stamped it, cut it out, and then cut another piece um, in back of it just to give it a 3D look. And then just put that on pop dots. And then this is the key um, that I just had in my stash. Once again, it was silver. 
I gessoed it and used my texture paint. And here's more gauze here. And then I have a paper doily back here. Not one that I made, just a paper doily. So I think that's it for this card. And that is it for my cards so far. I had so much fun making these cards. And I hope the recipient loves them as much as I loved um, creating them. So thanks everybody for watching. And um, have a beautiful weekend before Christmas. I hope everybody's got their shopping done. Ask me if I have. No, I haven't. <laughs> so, okay. Thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.